good afternoon teachers my name is jagat and i welcome you all on the behalf of shri orbinda society so this is the series where i share with you some of the great innovative ideas given by the teachers of different states so today i am going to share with you another case study the name community participation so before that i have some information to share with you so there are uh, there are teachers they have always some questions that uh, that sir how we can share our innovative idea with you or how we can share our experience with you so if you want to share your innovative idea with me and if you want to know more about our program so you can ask me at the end of the session or you can if you are watching me live on the facebook right now you can uh, tell me in the comment box which uh, which tv which is your query or if you have any question you can ask me anything in the comment box and if you are watching me on the zoom so you can ask me directly and you will find the link of zoom app in my comment box of facebook also so you can ask me there also so let's uh, let's talk about our today's innovative case study uh, teachers the name community participation so when we say about community participation so there are a lot of teachers they must be getting a lot of points to say right now that sir we face a lot of problems uh, in our schools or our, in our atmosphere like parents do not come to the school we do our best we try we try to motivate students we do everything which thing is possible from our end but parents do not come to the school what can be the solution of this so they the same there are some teachers they also thought the same thing so they tried to find the solution of it so what teacher did so teacher visited the village so there was one teacher teacher uh, got transferred in a new village so teacher thought now let's i uh, teacher first saw that the students are coming very less in the school girls percentage is very low in the school and the attendance level is also very low for all the students so teacher decided that i will go to the village and i will see that what is the problem why parents are not sending their child to the school i will try to know all the reasons today so teacher started visiting some houses so when he reached to one house so then he was talking that you have two children at your home and you do not send any of them to the school what is the reason so the man simply answered that what will he do uh, after going to the school if he does not go to the school even then he will earn something as his elder brother he has one rickshaw and he sells vegetables there and fruits there he brings every day 200 or 300 rupees so at least i will give him one small rickshaw so he will bring at least 150 rupees to my house but what will happen if i send him to the school so teacher heard about it and teacher thought like uh, now i have to change the parents also to bring students to the school and after that teacher went ahead and he visited another house there was one girl in the house and he asked that why don't you send your daughter to the school she will learn she will study she will uh, get some education so she will be never backward in his or in her life so the parents answer was so surprisingly so parents were there they answered what will he do after what will she do after going to the school at the end she has to make chapatis as the uh, at the end she has to cook food only in somebody's home so better to teach her all these things not to send in her school so such kind of things were there and teacher saw it teacher heard it so he felt like i need to take some big steps in in the education field i need to do something better in my school or in the village or in the society community so at the Uh, so they will send their uh, their students their children to the school so here are some innovative ideas which you will find that yes they are engaging community to the school and they are bringing the community and parents to the school happily and the parents are also enjoying and you will find good attendance also in your school let's talk about our first innovative idea so the name is engaging ptm so ptm is the word which we all we all the or we all the teachers repeat every month that please send your child to the school or please uh, come you also to the school on the parents meeting so you can know the performance report of your child and you will know some more information about your child but even parents are not coming because they are not aware about it but if we give them any activity to do in the school any game to play in the school 
then they start coming to the school so let's talk about it and as we know that yeah effective ptm meeting is more like opens up various ways and it gives significant difference in the students education if parents are coming to the school at that time the students their learning is more and more always because their parents gets aware in the school so they go to their home and they make the child understand about study and about education so how we can make the strong bond between parents and the teacher we will understand it today so first what teacher does teacher tries uh, uh, his best to bring some parents to the school so from from very first day from very first ptm we are not talking about bring 100% parents to the school right now we are talking about like how can we bring some parents to the school so by like there are various ways which teacher tried the first thing is the students diary all the students have diaries so the teacher writes in the diary that this is very important parents meeting you all have to come so teacher writes the importance of parents meeting and and after that teacher sends one text message also to the all the parents who are, are who are sending their child in the school so after that teacher conveys another message from the village people also who are connected to the school that please share this information that this parents meeting is very important that all the parents have to come to the school anyhow so like this uh, so some of the parents i will not say 100% but at least 70 to 80% parents are there they will try to come in the school because the teacher has made awareness teacher is texting them and sending the students diary that it means that it never happens to the school so there will be something important and after that teacher is going to share the performance report but not only performance report more than that is going to happen so teacher divided this ptm in different parts so first time the teacher plays at some uh, you know, the competition games between parents and the student so they have good bond when they have good bond so they have good bond with the school also so the first activity is rangoli making and as we know that rangoli is very famous in india it is the it is rangoli is famous for its colors there are various colors which we use in rangoli and it looks beautiful in the school and there are a lot of parents who are very very interested to uh, in, they are interested to make such rangolis at their homes they love to do such kind of things so what teacher did teacher made competition at the ptm day that which parents will make the best rangoli in the school the resources which are available in the school so those those parents will get the art and craft which their child has made and other other students have made for them so they will get all those gifts as a there's a rangoli competition winner so they get all the gifts and the rangoli competition keeps happening so it is not necessary to have this competition every parents meeting all the parents meeting there are various different things which teacher has tried so we can try those things also so in the rangoli in the rangoli making competition which parent uh, wins so they they motivate their they get bond they make they create a good bond in the school uh, so they create a good bond in the school and they come to the school and all the time they are excited that we will go to the school we will have some competition we want to win our child will get good uh, like image in the school with their parents come in the school so this was the first activity in this engaging ptm because right now we are engaging parents in the school when we are making rangolis i'm not talking about the fathers but mothers are going to be very much engaged by rangoli making competition and as we know this is the nature of humans we all want to win competition at any cost we want we will do anything we will use our best skills to make to win the competition any kind of competition so if you are watching me on facebook so you can tell me in the comment box that how you like do you like rangoli making or what activity you like to do when once you go to parents meeting now let's talk about our next activity in the engaging ptm idea so the next is best of waste so as we all know the plastic is a very like very big problem for environment for it is creating a lot of pollution in the environment it is creating a lot of problems for people who are very old who have diseases so they are dying sooner and sooner because of the pollution 
so how we can use that plastic waste in our school so the parents who are there they do not face such problems and the community also feels free from the waste let's understand this activity so first what happens teacher shares with all the parents that what benefits we can do and how we can use the plastic uh, bottles and other plastic uh, other plastic uh, objects to create the better environment in the school at the house for an example if i have any water bottle and after that if i'm not using that so what what can happen so i can use that water bottle in different ways i can do some different activities by the water bottle only for an example so this is the water bottle which i'm using so after from today i will stop using this water bottle so what uh, i have two options right now the first option is i can throw this bottle somewhere so it will go to garbage and as we know that it will increase the pollution right now so better to use it in a different way so what ways i can do i can take this bottle like this and i can cut from here after cutting from here i can plant some trees in that so it will grow so it will look beautiful it will give us more better nature better environment in the school and some other ways to use we can make it house of any bird we can cut it and we can uh, hang that uh, like under the wall after that it can become the house of bird and such kind of activities we can do so teachers give some bottles and waste material of uh, waste plastic which are which is available in the school to the parents and ask them to create what why their activity by with a pair of the parents and the student what they can what they can create uh, by the waste material what best they can create so in that competition which parents make the best one they gets the applauded by the by all the parents and they get the they everybody with which they make so they as a gift they get that in a gift so they can use at their home or if they want to donate that donate that to the school so they can donate to the school also so the how this is how best to waste this activity we do in the school only and after that na and when we are talking about the parents meeting at that time we should not forget that how people can be so grateful or they can show their gratitude to their parents and the grandparents and we as we all know that home is a learning ground for each and every child so home is a learning ground which i meant to say when you were a child you must remember when you used to live with your grandparents they used to teach you a lot of things all the time your parents are teaching you a lot of great, great things at your home only so before going to the school only we learn a lot of things at our home only so how we can give more motivation or how we can motivate our students to show the gratitude to their students will be so thankful to for their parents so in one ptm meeting what teacher does teacher shares with all the parents that please bring your grandparents or send your grandparents to the school so today we are going to do something in our school so first the parent the teacher who is available in the class teacher shares with the grandparents that how making your student making your grand daughter or grand son healthy will make him better in education better i mean study so for an example this is a general thing if you your health is better if your child your health of your child is better if he is doing great in his life if his body is working so fine so he will feel well he, uh, he will feel good when he is studying in the school only and if he is healthy so he will he can play in co curricular activities also he can go in games also and a lot of things he can do if he is healthy but if you have any student who is not healthy at that time how will he do better in his life and how will he study better because he is not feeling fine right now so after this once teachers makes all the grandparents aware about it and parents aware about it then students uh, are uh, the teacher before one day only the pdm teacher says that make something great for your grandparents or the parents which will show them that you respect them a lot so all the students key get busy to making such things in the school room or school only or the classroom only that students create such uh, objects such beautiful things so their parents are going to like it so uh like this uh, they give such art and craft gifts to their parents then why they also feel good that right now they are getting such gifts from their child only or other 
students in the classroom so they feel good they get engaged they feel engaged in the classroom to the school and to the teacher only all the parents because we all love respect we all want to be appreciated by someone if we are appreciated then we feel more motivated more uh, like attracted towards the place or the school when we feel good when we are appreciated there so this is how this is another activity in the same engaging pdm there is one more activity name thing uh, thanking parents so thanking parents is our next activity what is this uh, thanking parents right now in the last activity there were students who were uh, appreciating their grandparents and parents to do something right now teachers are doing something to thanking parents so what happens in this so there are some parents in this class school or the in the community they come always whenever they get information that there is a ptm in the school so they try their best to come in the school so when they try their best to come in school so what teacher does teacher make some parameters that uh, if there is any parent who is coming more than 3 times in the parents meeting continuously so next time he will be thanked or he will get more benefits and he will be appreciated by the teachers so what teacher teacher does teacher ask all the students to make some batches and beautiful ribbons for the all the parents who are coming regular to the school on all the peer parents meeting so teacher gives them uh, ribbons to uh, to tie here or the badges that these are the best parents that they are coming to the school all the weeks while in the ptm so when we give any badge to any parents believe me they are going to come in all the ptms because right now they were appreciated for their good work so they come to the school they like to come they like to do such thing activities in their classrooms so this was our first innovative case study so now let's do in the case first innovative idea of the case study now let's talk about our next innovative key idea the name is poster making and awareness drives we all want to make everybody aware but there are several ways which are by that we can uh, we can uh, make our parents aware community aware by the things and we can engage the parents in the community while doing such activity so let's talk about it so what teacher does in this teacher make some themes in the school of posters so what there are themes like saving girl and some other slogans are there because on that for teacher a teacher ask all the students to make posters so first teacher arranges some colorful sheets and colorful pens and pencils so all the students can show their creativity and make a uh, people aware about the things for an example so if there is a village where are, there are so many parents are there and so many students are there and they go for open defecation and we all know that open defecation is very dangerous sometimes there are so many dangerous uh, situations are there and this is not good uh, going to the open defecation it increases a lot of diseases in the society so if a teacher can make some posters or we can paste that on the walls in the village only that open defecation is not good make toilets at your home so you do not go so your daughter of your home and your woman of your home do not go to for open defecation so if we can do such activities so these are the posters which we use all the time in our villages in the society and we see such things always for that what happens so first teacher gives them and teacher ask all the students to create posters like that so we the community can be community can be uh, like we can make them aware we can uh, share the message which we want to pass them for that now right now we are talking about students but here parents take uh, the here teachers take help of parents also in the community at the same time so what happens students have made a lot of posters for the community so right now this is the work of teacher teacher goes to panchayat ghar and he talks to the pradhan of the village that uh, we want to aware this uh, we want to spread this awareness or we want to spread this slogan so we need your help so the the pradhan who is there the sarpanch who is there he helps the parents to uh, sorry he helps the teachers to post some posters in the village only and he helps to post that everywhere in the village 
so like what kind of slogans can be there like clean environment healthy society such kind of slogans can be there and uh, saving girls and one uh, one more uh, slogan i have which i want to tell you that we take pledge for a green and better society my society my responsibility use dust bin do not throw garbage in open such kind of slogans which we can use in the village so we can make people aware for an example i want to ask you this question personally so when you go, when you go somewhere you see any slogan when you see any poster in the village or when you see any poster on the road when you are visiting anywhere so do you feel somewhere that or does it stuck in your mind that you should follow that or you should at least think about it so you can tell me in the comment box that what you think about after seeing any slogan in the society what do you think about seeing any active any such activities in the in the village or in the society so after this this was the first stage in the second stage what teacher does on any second saturday or any sunday where parents are comfortable to send their child to the school so parent so all the students take all the slogans in their hand and after taking all the slogans they keep they keep walking in the village they go for the rally they they tell all the villagers that these are the things which we, we should take care send your child to the school clean and wipe don't go for open defecation such kind of activities students do and like this so all the parents are also aware they feel good that my child is in the rally he is doing such good work so when the child is doing such a good work so they also feel to follow all the things so this was my second innovative idea and now, now let's go for the next innovative idea so my next innovative idea is remedial classes for students and parents as we are talking about engaging parents so now let's talk about the next one remedial classes as we understand by the remedial or by, by word only so how we can connect students and parents together in this activity today we will understand about it so what happens that we are uh, it's natural process and it is natural talk that we cannot force any student to be uh, to master any skill if uh, if you are a person if you are a teacher if you are a parent if i ask you to master any skill that is you have to master this skill this skill this skill all these things so it is impossible to master skill master any skill like that so in the things which where we are interested we can master that skill only as we all know if i am not interested in photography how i can master that skill if i am not interested but if i am interested in farming if i am interested in doing jobs and businesses so i might be the master of that thing after some time after working hard after working smart in that thing so the same concept it has that how we can make our students masters in which they are interested to do so and this uh, this innovative idea is good for the primary classes if you are a teacher of primary class so you can try this in the school and you will see some better results and we can we all can make together school a better place for everyone for all the people who are who come to the school who see schools schools as a hope for their child that they will make their good future for the students are going to make their future good in the school so first teacher what teacher does teacher she is the uh, teacher makes a list of all the students who studies in the school and teacher makes a list that what are the students who are weak in any subject who are who are the students who are weak in any other work in co curricular activities or academic activities after making the list the teacher in that list teacher uh, make shows that all those students the name is mentioned that who do not understand any particular subject if i am a student and i do not understand the mathematics so my name list will be my name should be there in the list of mathematics the students need uh, we need to take care of this student more and more so such kind of list teacher makes and other activities and after that teacher not uh, at the same time teacher makes it sure that we do not demotivate any student that as we tell them the not all the students are same in the school all not all the parents are same in the school nobody is same we all are different we have we all have different skills to do we all have different works to do and we all can do something better which other people cannot do in the community or in the society we all should accept it 
so we ex we request all the parents to come in the school and see this and help their child to work together if we have any student who wants to be a doctor at that time we can give him some uh, accessories we can give him some object so he can help other students to be help them cure what happens in school atmosphere in school campus so there are students they sometimes they hurt themselves sometimes their their uh, their body parts skin start bleeding because they fell down somewhere sometimes they fight such kind of activities keep happening in the school at that time the student who wanted to be a doctor we have brought that student to the school and he is going to help that student is going to do uh the first stage of that students so such kind of students can help at that and parents can also help them to learn more and more at that time in the school and the students who are weak in the math at that time so the parents who are good in the math so they can help those uh, those children in the school and if if we can bring some more students to the school who can help students who are weak in any subject who can we can help them to learn more and more in the classrooms we can teach them science some more rules mathematics in different ways some shortcuts and there can be so many different ways to do in the school so this was the today's innovative case study these were the innovative ideas which i had to share with you teachers so right now if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box or if you're watching me on the zoom right now you can tell me there also if you have any question any query i would like to answer all your all the questions do we have any any teacher who like to ask me any question who like to now ask that how you can submit your innovative idea with us so okay teachers i believe there is no confusion uh, there is no question so before that i want before ending this video i want to share with you that our website that www.ziiei.com so this is our website there you can share your innovative idea with us and there are some parameters which will find written there let's meet tomorrow with different case study let's meet tomorrow with different innovative ideas till then have a great day bye bye